Hello everyone, once again, welcome back to Power Distribution channel. It's been a very long time since I'm not uploading, but today I'm going to show you the transfer process of three phase steps between two feeders. This task will be carried out by our lifeline crew in conjunction with the offline maintenance crew to disassemble and transfer the construction into new location. First, the lifeline crew ascend to the pole and secure the ladder before they are conducting any uh, cutting job. The first wire of the three phase step is being cut using the pneumatic uh, cutter. The ground crew are controlling the pressure of the pump. Next, the crew cuts the middle face and carefully maneuver it around these tight spaces. After all the jumper has been cut, then the crew install this shield on the insulator above the taps so that the offline crew can work to disassemble this construction safely. Next, the crew install this uh, wire cover on the side face uh, above the tabs to add another uh, extra safety for the offline maintenance crew. This cover is rated uh, around 25 kilovolts so that the offline crew can be worked safely around this uh, energized line. Now the covering process is almost finished and the offline crew can start to work on the construction. The offline crew start to ascend to the new location and the ground crew are preparing all the construction needed to install the tab. As you can see this chromosome are being assembled and suspension insulator is being installed also to add tension to the new tabs. The other crew are sent to the old location to transfer the old uh, tabs into the new pole one by one. As you can see, this is a very intricate and delicate job so that a constant communication and coordination is paramount on this particular task. Now, all the conductor has been transferred to the new location and the crew are assemble the old cross arm. As you can see, the cross arm is very rusted so the crew opted to cut it directly. After the transfer is finished, the lifeline crew once again sent to the new location to prepare and install the tabs into the new feeders. Man install the hotline clamp to the jumpers. And the line crew are measuring the jumper length using the measurement stakes. They are installing the hotline clamp into the another jumper so that it can be installed easily on the line. The first jumper, which is the middle face, is being installed on the main feeder line using a clamping stick. As you can see in this task, uh, optimum twisting position is very important to maintain a very good uh, tension and contact between the jumpers and the main feeder line. Before they install the outermost jumper, they have to install this wire cover to the neutral line so that it prevents an accidental contact between the live face wire with the neutral which is very dangerous. After safe and secured, then they install the last and the outermost jumper to the line 
using uh, twisting sticks as you can see the cover is very important to prevent any accidental contact And last but not least, they install the tabs for the cutout. There you have it guys, the quick process of transferring 3-phase lateral tabs from the old feeder to the new feeders. Uh, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe and comment in the comment section below. And thanks very much for watching this video.